Iceman George Gervin, the man who can score from angles that many of you have never seen before in life. Well, the Iceman, this man had a thousand moves. Took one of the most iconic pictures in the history of mankind. Where he sat on real block of ice. And everybody had that picture on they that poster on their wall. Well, when D Wade came around, they recreated that ice picture. When they had ice hot. Miami Heat movement. But they talked to George Gervin about who was better. LeBron James and him being like the best player and all these different things. And George Gervin liked Dwayne Wade as a basketball player more than he liked LeBron James. And he didn't take anything away from LeBron. But he said, LeBron to him hadn't showed ability to adapt to situations that was adverse. LeBron hadn't shown the ability to overcome those obstacles where Dwayne had shown grit and had to dig down in order to do that and he did it as a young in a young age and actually Dwayne Wade is the one that got it LeBron James when those times were tough and when he didn't have Dwayne Wade you saw how tough it's been for LeBron I'm saying LeBron is great physical you know talents but Dwayne Wade has more in his repertoire than LeBron James. And basically, um, I agree. So he says it's intangibles. And I agree. 100%. Now, many a times, you know, people tell you, LeBron James, like, I ran into some people who don't even watch the game. They watch highlights. But they would love to tell you who's the best. You believe that? How can you tell me somebody is better than somebody and you didn't even watch the doggone game? That's insulting on I don't know how many levels. But then, check this out. <laughs> this is the new reality. This is the new reality that this world is in right now. So... 100% you're in a situation where Dwayne Wade and George Gervin, both of these players were similar in the way that they scored the basketball. Except for Wade didn't really finger roll like... <laughs> like George Gervin, but they had different intangibles. You know, and that's just the way it was, you know. He from Detroit, way from Chicago, some Midwest connection, the grind, the grit. They understand that. And LeBron is just a limited basketball player. So when you have a limited basketball player 
who's trying to excel in a position that he don't even quite understand himself. It brings you to back to this reality that you're in right now. And you're saying, man, uh, is this guy even good? He moves like a stiff out there on the court. He, he can't really explode anymore. Like, what are we really watching? It's a hype job. Meaning to distract people that don't watch the game, which is a lot of everybody. They too busy playing 2K, then turn around and end up playing a video game and then going to watch the highlights on ESPN and then go around telling you how great LeBron is. But it makes it impossible to bet when there's a pandemic and the league is holding on for its own very survival. Their television marketing chip, which is LeBron James, is going to be at the forefront. And no one can talk about it that works for the networks because they got to pretend like this is an actual competition. That this is actually real. That every team has a chance to make it to the championship. They have to sell that even though it's not a reality. Oh. Don't forget, man, hit up the Cash App. Carcino is the name on that Cash App. Hit that like button and subscribe to the page. Now, Let's discuss why certain other things aren't working. There have been many of opportunities that has presented himself that didn't make any sense to the rest of the general public. Translation. This didn't make sense to the general public. Why was George Gervin doing this all of a sudden why was he even asked because they're trying to get as many of the old school vets to back LeBron James as possible that's what it's about they want to get the vets get them together And say, go ahead, back LeBron, man. We need more people to come out and pat LeBron on the back. Why would George Gervin do that? He played when it was real ball. He played when it was the, the greatest players in the world. And then you want him to back somebody from this bubblegum era. So he's going to look for a throwback player. He would back somebody like Jimmy Butler before he backed somebody like LeBron. So let's see how many players did they get to go and back LeBron for some probably some ad spot that they want to run. I'm quite sure they can get him. But it didn't go in the way they thought it was going to go. Wade's in his first year of retirement. So he's not even playing anymore. But when you ask for somebody's opinion and they give you this, it just gives you an example of what we had already pointed out beforehand. And that example is this.
real ballers, real players, when they see LeBron James, they're not impressed. They're just not. There's nothing about his game that will impress any of these veteran basketball players. And it's not a bad thing. It's just that, hey, you're not at this skill level. And at this point in your career, you're never going to be. What we're saying, a uh, white man couldn't jump. You might be able to pull a pass out your ass. <laughs> but that still don't mean you know how to play this game. So people got to get it together, man. I mean, for real, it's it's getting a little embarrassing. It's getting like a little embarrassing at times. But definitely... Um, I'm with it, you know, so I'm with everything George Gervin said. Anyway, I'm out. Don't forget to support the page. And, yeah, that's it. That's all.